All right, folks, we walk in back again. And what have we got in front of me? Oh, look, it's Spider-Man, the superior Spider-Man. Yes, yes, I know. I said I wasn't going to get any more of this line. And yes, yes, here's another one of this line. But hey, I wanted a good Spider-Man figure. I've heard good things about this figure. Got it at the right price at the Humber Comic Con. Great Comic Con, check it out. So, yeah, I had to pick it up. I'll have a quick glance at the box. It's got a window box of the character within. Name of the character, Marvel Legends Infinite Series, Marvel Spider-Man, create figure, build a, build a figure, collection, Green Goblin. Which is Spidey on the side, both sides. Other figures available in the line. Completed build a figure, picture of the figure, description of the character. Give a quick read of the description. Doc Ock prolongs his life by implement... Bleh. I can read. Looks like we're starting this again. <clears throat> Alright folks, what's this I've got in front of me? Oh look, it's the Superior Spider-Man. So, yeah, I know. How many times have I said, not getting any more of this line? And then pop back up with another one. Okay, this is only the second time I've done that, but this probably is the last one of them. Unless I get the Electro at a good price. But I had to pick this one up. I wanted a good Spider-Man figure. Got this one at the right price. Heard good things about it. Looking forward to seeing what it's like. Let's have a look at the packaging to start off with. Got a picture of the... We've got a window box of figure within. Superior Spider-Man, title, name, title, build a figure collection, Green Goblin, picture of Spidey, another picture of Spidey, picture of the figure, other figures available, complete build a figure, bit of a character profile. Give it a quick read, because I haven't read Spider-Man since, well, I was still with Mary J when I last read it, regularly. But I was a big Spidey fan in the 90s. Kept a rough embrace of what's been going on, but not in too much detail. So hopefully this um, bio will give me a bit more to go on. Doc Ock prolongs his life by implanting his mind in the body of Peter Parker. Using Parker's powers, will Doc Ock erase Parker's legacy and become the superior Spider-Man? I heard good things about the line as well, the, the whole comic line that's gone with this. If you don't want to hear me talk about what I've heard, you want to see what I think of this figure, which means getting it out of box, having a play. See you in a couple of minutes. So, I've had a little time to get out of the packaging, play a little bit around with it, take a couple of photos here and there. Nothing too spectacular, but yeah, I can see why people have been going on about this. It is a cool little figure. I mean, all the articulation on it is incredible. Maybe could do with a few better accessories, or some extra accessories, but yeah, overall, not too bad. And we'll start with the Green Goblin leg. Again, not probably picking up many more of this line. Probably not any more of this line. Not going to complete the Green Goblin. So, bit of a waste for me. But let's talk about its articulation for fun. It's got a fantastic ankle pivot. It's got an ankle bend. And it's got double jointed knees. Which for a, a leg that size is very impressive. I must admit, I'm half tempted to try and get a fully completed one, just so I can see what it's like. Because that is, I'm, I'm impressed with that. But overall, for this, for me, yeah, it's not all that worth it. So we put that to the side, onto the main event. The spider himself. 
And okay, so it's Doc Ock in Peter Parker's body, but it's still just as articulated as you want a Spider-Man figure to be. The head looks up massively. That is very impressive. Looks down a fair amount. That's pretty good. We've got these weird shoulder joints that I've yet to get on with. I'm not, yeah, I'm not convinced on them yet. I'm not sure they're for me. But yeah, they actually let you get some good poses in. So I'm not complaining, really. Shoulder movement. Yeah, I will go up and down though. This shoulder joint does impede that a bit. Double jointed elbows, wrist spin, and pivot. Ab crunch, massive ab crunch, both forward and back. And it looks like, whatchamacallit, uh, Joanne from Strictly. That's how much ab crunch you get on that. Waist swivel. The legs don't go out too far, but it's not too bad that. These very stiff upper thigh joints, because they go forwards and backwards, not so much backwards though. Double jointed knees, which go all the way up the back like that. Great ankles that also go flat. Not so much the other way, but enough. And again, amazing ankle pivots. So yeah, lots of articulation. Paint-wise, done a really good job pretty much, I'd say. I mean, mostly it's a black figure, so it doesn't take that much, but getting a bit of rubbing on that joint, but it's a joint, it's what you expect. The fact that they're painted at all is a bonus. Got a bit of red scuffing sort of down here by the waist joint. But other than that, all very clean, all very good, all well painted, and all flows very well. So yeah, I'm not complaining about the paint job at all, really couple of little niggles but yeah you can't have everything without a couple of little niggles so yeah articulation amazing paint job very good accessories well that's where it sort of falls down for me because the only accessories other than that leg that we've already talked about are a pair of spare hands and I don't know do they look touch large to you i don't know what well you can see then they're web slinging hands and i don't know i always have problems with these web slinging hands they always seem the fingers always seem a bit elongated maybe it's just me you pop them on you pop these ones out easily enough you pop these ones in again easily enough Get some very cool web slinging poses. Actually, very good that. I like it a lot. But that's it. What we get in terms of accessories, this spare set of hands, very cool. Got some great posing options. And yeah, I'll probably display it with these hands on. So I'm not going to complain about them. What I will complain about is the lack of anything else. I mean, we've got gripping hands, which are great. But don't we want some closed fists for some punching action? Some dynamic scenes? And don't we want, I don't know, maybe a spare head showing Doc Ock underneath in Peter's body. And a snarling Peter face or something like that. That would be cool. Or, and this is kind of a key thing for me, every Spider-Man figure should come with some sort of webbing. You know, just so you can, with this, something that'll slip on the wrist there and can be fired, look like it's being fired out. I know there's some good third party ones doing that and I'm afraid I'm gonna probably have to pick up a third party one or make my own because Hasbro haven't delivered that. I mean, Spider-Man, he web-slings. You've given us web-slinging hands. Can't we have some webbing to go with it? It's not a lot to ask, I don't think. But yeah, 
for what the figure is, the figure's great. Awesome articulation, still not sure about them shoulder joints. But that's my thing, not theirs. And I can see why they've done it, and it does add some awesome articulation to them. Paint job perfectly acceptable. Everything that's here is good enough. The trouble is, there are certain things that aren't, that I think should be. That's the only problem I've got with it. I love the figure, I'm glad I picked it up. Definitely worth putting in your collection. That's what I'm going to take away from that. Well worth it, especially at the knockdown price. But a bit stingy on the accessories. So, until our web slinging your way again, I'll see thee.